More Donkey Kong. Right. I love Donkey Kong. Now we're going into the forest. So I'm the usual guy, and I have a different guest with me this time. Hi, I'm Wandering Newbie. Hooray. And so we got this forest here. Lots of ropes. It's I love these levels because they're so vertical. Yeah. The music, I mean, the music's okay, but uh, I really do like it, but it's like... It's all tense and stuff, but it doesn't really, like... Yeah, it's not it really much going on here. Yeah, it doesn't really go anywhere, you know? It's just kind of this ambient uh, tenseness, but not really much else done with it. I don't know. Maybe somebody who's more of a musical <laughs> expert can say something, but... It's such a dumb secret. Oh, hey, look, we got dynamite to blow <laughs> holes in trees. It's a nice little tutorial teaching you. Yeah. The TNT can do shit. Mm hmm. You won't believe how many fucking uh, TNT tree walls we have to blow up in this video. <laughs> it's. <laughs> it's like we've already gone over, like, poaching and murder, and now we're gonna have to deal with deforestation, too. Uh. I don't know. How else are you gonna get your. expensive gold coins? Well, yeah, you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> exploit natural resources for money. Yeah, and then pay money for more levels. And there's nothing up there. I thought there was, because <laughs> sometimes they have hidden like holes in the branches where you can't see them. But that wasn't one of them. So now we got moving barrel shields. This level had such a dumb gimmick. Yeah, I can't even say anything about it. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Just oh yeah, and for some reason, if you try to um switch Kongs when they're like right on top of each other, you can't do it. You have to you have to actually let them move, the other one move behind you before you can actually do the switch. It's weird. I've never noticed that before. I assume it has something to do with the animation. Like it won't let it do the uh, switching animation if it's if the other Kong's not right behind it, because then it will just look clunky. But I don't know. <laughs> it's still weird though. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's really not much to say about the uh, acorn or whatever throwing monkeys because they're just kind of there. It's just basically don't get hit by the. Oh, you fucked it up. Yeah, I'm pretty terrible. <laughs> I got it this time though. <laughs> and I like how Kitty just kind of hovers behind <laughs> you through like magic. Are yeah, the green bananas are still pretty terrible. Cause now it's like, now it's like, hey, now you gotta wait a second. Oh well, in, unless that shit happens where it just spawns on you again. Yeah, you get like three or four in a row. It's pretty good. Being like super extra careful, I'd be like, fuck it, just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then have to do all this shit again. Kind of sucks. I was expecting you to jump up and just get hit. I know! <laughs> uh, but at least we got that done. And this next level is actually a pretty fun one. Oh, yeah, these these are the best. Yeah. I think there's other ones like this, or at least with a similar gimmick. First of all, motherfucking bees! Oh, yeah. If you, if you if the timer wasn't already enough of an indication to start running, the bees would just you would just keep chasing you the entire stage. Unless you're in the you get for the timer. Honestly. Uh, you'll see. All right, you'll see because I'll I'll do it and I'll be awesome. Yeah, I'll I'll be the best. You won't even know. We're skipping on the water. Yeah. I hate. It. I'm gonna agree with Simon on this. I hated this mm -hmm. shit. The skipping water. It was such a dumb mechanic. Not only that, but this is this is the second time you have to do it, and it's the only other time you really need to do it in the entire game is this stage. Other than that is, as far as I remember, it is never used for any sort of bonus ever again. I think they were just pretty much like, well, Dixie has the uh, the the hover, so Kitty needs to have something special. Let's yeah. make him skip on water, and it's like this is the dumbest thing ever. Yeah, he, he needs his own uh, 
mechanic to get somewhere where where Dixie can't. And even then, Dixie apparently can get to the one in a uh, title trouble, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> but yeah, this is since this is the only other. It's either you have to do the one where uh, where you can't. You only have one chance, or you have to practice here where there's motherfucking bees that keep chasing you. Seriously, I hate these bees. Oh, uh, pro, pro maneuver right there, and then you fucking get hit by the crocodiles. Yeah. And I float down there because of that. I thought that was something else. Which was this one. And those exclamation bar, bar, uh, barrels are invincibility. Oh man. Didn't you say in the last episode you couldn't kill the red bees? Yeah, I thought that was the case, but they're, uh. The only things that kill them are invincibility and TNT. I didn't remember that. Because I'm a terrible person. You're gonna keep lying to us. Yeah, th this is uh, the most uh... formative LP ever. Oh well, let's cut that out and try again. Also, look at that time. I'm I'm never gonna get the record at this point. <laughs> the kitty was just rolling in place. I think I did like this level just because you had to play it twice to get everything. Mm-hmm. Because there's no way you're getting all the bonuses and, and get it to the end in time. It's not yeah. happening. I'm tired of these springy guys. Because I keep jumping into them when they jump. Not even as good as the Donkey Kong 2 ones. Alright, we got more water, Skippy. Let's do this. Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did the pro one earlier from, like, on top of the cliff, and I can't get this one right. I guess Oh, I just, don't get it. I just said... Just a t oh, I jumped too early. I guess I just <laughs> attest to how uh, annoying it is to do. Well, fine. Maybe, got it. maybe it's just harder going left. Uh, I don't know. It seems to be the same. Both, and then I do it there properly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, two thirty-seven is all is close to one fifteen, right? It's only twice the time. <laughs> Alright, time for some more... Stupid gimmicks. Yeah. This is like the only level I remember from this entire world. Just yeah. because it's dumb. Yeah, basically, the rats are running in wheels, and they have, and there's the uh, meter that goes from uh, red to green, and you have to empty it out by killing all the rats. Look at that meter. I don't even understand how that even makes sense. It's like, so the rats are... The rats power. are powering the uh, door, and by removing the power, the door just magically opens. Yeah, like, does not even make sense in the least. Yeah, it's very bizarre and confusing. It's a gimmick, and... Yeah. You could have just said, oh, you have to kill this many enemies in weird places to get through. Also, but I guess, I guess it makes it interesting, but... Yeah, it, it's more than just going through the level, I guess, but it doesn't really add anything? I don't know. Yeah. And yeah, also Dixie's the best because she holds the barrel over her head, and so sometimes you can just jump into them with the barrel and kill them. As opposed to acting. That's actually a, a very effective method of running through levels if you just have a barrel. Because mm -hmm. it's like free hit. Yeah, especially if you're a kitty and you hold it in front of you, but... If stuff comes from above, that helps too, so... And it was really the same way in 2 with uh, Diddy and... Yeah, because Dixie pretty much played the same, and Diddy... kind of does the same thing with the barrel that Kitty does, where he holds it in front of him. So that's pretty helpful. Oh god, look at that meter! That's, that's ten motherfucking rats that we have to kill. What's with the, the locked, um... Things I don't remember those. Uh oh, you're talking Lock about uh, oh yeah the uh, the trap doors. Yeah. Uh, we'll see that in a little bit. Also, I can't switch. Uh, so I'll try to do this, and no, you don't get. Uh, unlike when Kitty throws Dixie, you don't get teleported up there. So you have to do this the proper way. It's because you don't get the same height, really. Well, well, not even that. I I perfectly landed on it, but you just don't teleport up to him. Weird. But now we got bananas with these. <laughs> I feel like one of those rats in the wheels right now. <laughs> Only with bananas. It's just like, hey, go here. Now go here. 
It's so terrible. I hate you, green bananas. Get out. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. They really have they have all the same bonus games from two. They just added the green bananas. Yeah, the green bananas is the only one that's new, and that one's pretty terrible. I will yeah. say. I'm not gonna defend that. That's that's horrible. I hate it. At least the early ones are dumb and boring. I guess, like, later when they're more of a platforming challenge, it's more interesting. I guess so. Also, I completely missed the other guy. <laughs> also, you can roll on the barrels. You don't really need to use that ever, but it's hilarious. It's a thing that you can do. Mm hmm. Oh, hey, coin. <laughs> yeah, the co the, even the coin puzzles aren't even that interesting yet. No, but then they get ridiculously convoluted later on. Yeah. This is a part where you would rather have Kitty. Uh-huh. Because you, cause then you, otherwise you'll just run right into the bees and lose your barrel. Oh, hey, look, you gotta go back this way to get the barrel to kill him and then go the other way. Padding. It's just like... <laughs> Get out of spring, you guys. Oh man, only one more to go. Are you excited? I'm super excited. I'm pumped for this. Let's get him. Oh my god, it's the same exact thing we've seen the entire time. Yeah! And now we get to use the trapdoors to go all the way down. And they've all magically unlocked somehow. But we also and get there's a also animal. <laughs> and there's oh this yeah. shit sorry the most annoying thing ever. Yeah. This is Perry the Peller, a little bird. He follows your exact movements only like above you. Which means you have to watch out for like bees and shit. But if you get him to the end of a section, he always gives you really good shit, so the Oh well I guess I can't really say that because they find a way around it, but like in two you used to have to get animal friends to the end in order to Get like a DK coin or something. Yeah. And I was saying like, oh, well, at least you don't have to do that in this one, except you still do, because they'll just replace it with a steel barrel. Yeah. And they usually, um... And there's even one specific level I remember where uh, Perry turns into a bonus barrel. <laughs> uh... You can only hit the hedgehogs from the front, right? Yeah, if you try to jump on them or hit them in the back, it won't do anything other than kill you. And oh no, you, you can't get the bear coin. Oh no. You already have like 50, don't you? Yeah, I have like 10 or 15 of them. You don't really need that many to, um... I don't remember how many you need exactly. But oh. here we have an old friend from DKC2 and 1, but he wasn't the same in 1. This is Squawks, and he... It, he, she, it shoots eggs out of its mouth. Somehow. <laughs> I don't know. So that's where eggs come from, duh. Obviously. Hey guys, did you get enough green bananas? Well, too bad, here's some more. This one's, uh, really, <laughs> this one's really annoying for me because the um, you accelerate up and down pretty... Whoops. <laughs> you accelerate up and down pretty well, but left and right seem to accelerate slower. I'm sure it was probably that way in 2 as well, but you don't really... I don't think you notice it that much. Yeah, I think it was. Because I don't think they really changed the controls between this and 2. Nah. So yeah, you can you can accelerate up and down pretty well, but the uh, left and right accelerates really slowly, so you don't get to the... Sometimes you won't get to the banana in time if it's one of the vertical ones, or if it's on the other side of the B. Yeah. Pretty much this one's pretty luck-based. Yeah. Damn green bananas. Why don't you just ripen already? <laughs> and the worst part about this is even if you're done, you still gotta go back past this guy. The which, worst. Which means if you have like five seconds left on the clock, you're not getting that coin. Unless you move really fast. Yeah, that's but it's unfortunately that's the end of Squawks. At least we find out that, uh, apparently Perry the Parallel Bird is, a, like, an endangered species or something because he's worth a lot. Yeah. As opposed to most of the other animals. 
It's like, oh, squawks, we, we've seen plenty of those. And Ellie Tusks, whatever. But Perry the Parallel Bird, holy shit. Also, I had to make a jump cut here because, uh... I... Because <laughs> I forgot shit. Because up here, there's this very hard-to-see ledge. And then, now they're starting to get tricky. Yep. So you need to use Dixie to be able to actually throw it through the hole. And then you gotta switch back to Kitty in order to be able to get up there. That was one thing I really... Like, one of the main things I didn't like about this game was that... You always, if you wanted to get everything in a level, you always had to have both Kongs. Yeah, basically. It was very dependent on that. Mm -hmm. if, you, if, you, yeah, if, you, if you're barely getting through the level, you won't be able to get everything if there's a lot of those uh, teamwork things. Also, I'm doing this completely backwards. Because, right now, <laughs> it, this is where I just came from. How you're supposed to do that is you're supposed to use that red spider because he'll jump up onto the platform that you come in the room from and then he'll jump high enough to uh, get you up there. Oh, and I guess I should explain the spiders. The red ones only jump when you jump on them and the yellow ones just keep jumping forever. That's all you need to know. It's not, it's not very complex at all. Not really, no. Probably could have picked up on that by now. Yeah. <laughs> well then what am is I here for? <laughs> There's a lot of just random barrels around in this level that don't aren't there for anything. Yeah, it's not like you have to take them to get like random bear coins and stuff. Whoops. Bro. Oh, not, I, not, I don't even mean like that. What? <laughs> <laughs> just hummingbird out of nowhere. Yeah. I don't even mean like for getting like bonuses or anything. I just mean like okay, here's a barrel, and then you're surrounded by red bees. <laughs> yeah. Well, this would be easy with Dixie Hong. Oh crap, I missed a couple. No! <laughs> no, I gotta go back for them. It's not like I'm coming back this way. Oh, there we go. Uh -huh, that was close. Yeah. Would have gotten all the way down to zero. Oh well. And with that, the level's pretty much over. So what else lies in store for us? Well, we gotta go visit a new bear brother. I hate this guy. Look at him, he's oh, like okay. a complete jerk. Now I remember the gimmick of that level. Okay. <laughs> well, he's right. I didn't do it in double the time. Or I didn't do it in double the time, so... Also, he says different things right here for, uh... Depending on how fast or slow you go. I really, I really hate this I'm guy. I'm welcome, Matt. Also, that mat, has, that mat actually has Japanese characters on it. If somebody knows Japanese and wants to say what those actually mean, go for it. So we're going back. Okay, bees! <laughs> to do this again, and just in the nick of time. New record. Oh yeah, if I remember correctly, it's actually pretty hard to get the record. Eh, it's kind of tricky. You, you have to basically be moving right the entire time. So hey buddy, what about that record? <laughs> <laughs> He's so angry, he just stretches out his sentences. Uh... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Alright. And that's what we get for winning that. Oh hey look. Oh, right, 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 right. Surely that won't mean anything. We're not just gonna give you your reward. Yeah, you have to go find it. And then we Alright, what's our, what's our level gimmick this time? Uh, well we got water that you can't get in, and we got Ellie again! Oh, I think this is a good gimmick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this shows off the other gimmick of Ellie's that you don't get to see in the first world. Which is you can drop water and then spit it out at enemies to do damage. It's pretty fun, I think. It's kind of, it's kind of rem reminiscent of uh, the spider. Yeah. The last one. From mm -hmm. 2. And yeah, the water is all dangerous, mostly. Most of them have those piranhas in them, and if you go in there, you're gonna get bit. So much dying red bees in this video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's just TNT everywhere. Oh, this is a cool bonus level. Yeah, you gotta use uh, barrels to as platforms. It's pretty, 
I like it. They're actually starting to get pretty clever. Mm-hmm. I don't remember every single bonus level, even though 100% of the game. Yeah. Also, they took away all my water. Oh, big move game. Can't really do anything there. Good thing we have infinite TNT for those guys. <laughs> even more bear money. Right on. I don't know why I shot that second one, because I didn't need it. <laughs> Just in case, you never know. Yeah, I think I thought I didn't think I didn't remember that there was a steel barrel there or something. Speaking of steel barrels, hey buddy, get out. <laughs> Oddly enough, this water doesn't have a prana in it, like every other body of water in this stage. And here we got a bonus barrel, but we're too buoyant, so we can't actually reach it. Right. Because of course elephants float. Yes. So instead you just need enough uh, momentum. See, now you're thinking with physics. <laughs> also, this is really dumb. This is like the... This why is even... Velocity barrels. Also, I don't think... I don't know if you mentioned it, but... The, of course, the fish in the water will yeah, if you, eat you if you fall into it. Yeah. Get out of here, fish. And I just I shoot right over him, and I and I can't aim down, so not much I can do for that. Of course, more <laughs> more bees that are just annoying and not actually like. <laughs> I'm just well, it's, it's still a world, too. They can't they st can't start busting out the crazy shit yet. Yeah, I don't even need to bother with this bear. <laughs> I'm not gonna play by your rules game. <laughs> Stop being annoying. Get out of here. Oh. Apparently the price of ivory's gone down. Well, you've been turning it in so much. Supply and demand. Yep. Now let's go get our reward. Oh wait, it's terrible shit. Yeah, another assignment. There's. Uh, I I never liked these either. Uh huh. <laughs> but there's a there's one of these in every world inside the world. So if you need to find all the banana birds, you make sure to find each of these caves. And there's a whole bunch on the overworld too, but that is it doesn't matter that much. I think there's like. Seven or something on the old world. Yeah. So this is Eric or Eric, whatever, the spider. And you can ride on the back of him for whatever reason. Obviously, your best choice of people to use is Dixie in this yes, one. Yes, very. I mean, just the way everything's set up, Dixie's just so amazing for beating this guy. Just trivializes the boss completely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just gonna fall on this barrel now. Yep. Oh. And then after the second, he starts uh, throwing goo everywhere. But you just like hide in the corner. Yeah. Normally, it'd be a problem if you had the barrel because it would break the barrel. But you could put the barrel down too. So. I never knew you could put the barrel down. Yeah. It's it's not something you would actually uh, know, but it's there, and it makes it even it trivializes this even more. Because normally you'd have to worry about the barrel getting broken, especially with uh, parts like this. But now you don't even have to bother. Just set the barrel down and hide in the corner, and you won. Pretty much. I don't know how I did this without putting the barrel down <laughs> looking at it now. Yeah, it, it is It is more difficult if you don't do that. Also, hey, look, a old bandage. That's disgusting. Yes. Put that, put that down. I don't even know why we picked it up in the first place, but whatever. And by beating that, we actually get to go over here to another bear. So I don't remember this one. Look at that bow tie. <laughs> I know about a lost world. It, it was directed by Steven Spielberg. <laughs> that bow tie. <laughs> 
Uh, so what, does he just tell you, like, secrets? Yeah. I think he says more things later in the game if you come back and visit him, but right now he just says that, so... We'll see you next time where we figure out where we actually have to go. See ya.